friends. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a video with the great Papyrus. Enjoy. Excuse me. May I sit beside you? No, but you can piss off. <gasps> Greetings, Sons. Long time no see. Am I right? Gaster? What? How? How are you alive? Sons, I am aware that I have been missing for an extended amount of time. But I am afraid we lack the time for... <laughs> For you, we're closed. Wait! It's okay, Grilb. He is uh, an old friend of mine. One too many ketchup bottles later. <sighs> right. Let me see if I understand. A human fell in the underground. She was possessed by another human, one that was already dead. Together they killed all monsters. You fought them, but you were defeated. The humans tried to erase this, uh, timeline. You intervened, and you and this human became friends. And now we're here. Is that right? Many brutch, yeah. And you didn't tell me because of these resets. Still... Here you are telling me everything, even though you just argue with Papyrus about him knowing the truth. Figures? <laughs> yeah. That, that was a bad move of mine. I need to f f apologize later. <sighs> well, it's not important right now. And what about you? Gaster, was it? How did you end up in this mess? Hmm. You really haven't changed one bit, have you? Huh? Excuse me? You see, before the scientist that is currently working in the Royal Laboratory, me and Sons were the head of the science team. We were responsible for the task of creating and testing artificial monsters' souls. We had to find a way to populate the underground and recover our numbers from the loss of the Great War. In fact, Sonus himself is a successful result of said experiment. He, along with Papyrus, are my greatest creations. This project was requested by Asgore himself, after both Princes, Asriel, and Chara tragically died. And although I did not like it, I had no other choice. My lord, I am very sorry for your loss. Gaster, there will be war. I beg your pardon? My lord, please, this is unwise. We lack the numbers to enter any kind of conflict at the present moment. And besides, the barrel. Well, you make the then, Caster, give me a new army. Start the research for artificial souls you told me about. That's an order. But, but, what about the barrier, my lord? Don't worry about that for now. More humans will fall, just like my son did. And we'll take their souls to break the barrier. Wait a moment, please. Didn't you just say that your intention was to populate the underground? Yeah, but uh, <laughs> the, the, that, that was the <laughs> official statement. Asgore didn't want <laughs> anyone to know what they were doing. Precisely. Now, will you kindly stop interrupting me? As I was saying, Sans was the first monster successfully made in laboratory. Or in vitro, if you will. I raised him, and he ended up becoming a scientist like us. But, you see, creating a soul is a very delicate process. It takes time, 
And by the time we managed to make a fifth artificial soul, King Asgore wasn't interested in the project anymore. Papyrus was the fifth and last soul we created. Before we closed the Artificial Souls program, which came as a relief to us, since we knew that the underground could not support an army in any way thanks to the limited amount of space. However, we were still satisfied with the result of our research. In fact, it was shortly after the program was closed that we met you, Grilby. You and Sons met in Snowden's library and soon became inseparable. I guess I was too, since Sons just loved to drag me around. Often, you would look after Papyrus, since me and Sons were working most of the time. And after some time, we managed to help you open your bar with the spare gold we received from doing services to the king. Everything went well for a couple of years, until the accident happened. Test show negative. We're ready to roll. You done with the calculation, sons? Y yeah uh, just give me a minute, kid. Don't call me that, sons. You know I hate that nickname. Gaster, are you sure about this? We know almost nothing about other timelines. And opening a portal like this, it might be dangerous. Mm. I know. We don't have the time, however, to bother with such casualties. We need to destroy the barrier eon. Perhaps we could capture the necessary souls from the past of this very timeline we reside in. The possibilities are endless, and the souls just out of our reach. We just need to take a step forward, Eon. And if we do, we will make a difference. my jacket, Papyrus! Probably lost forever because you're a forgetful klutz! I always put it on the rack, you know that! Uh, I don't have time for this nonsense! <laughs> but you stole it! What?! Sons, why would I take your filthy clothes?! I don't know, you tell me! Besides, you have the worst taste in fashion! Is that why you love Metaton so much?! Sons, that is it! This was a great idea, Flowey. Yes. Yes, it was indeed. Sans, can you please get me a sweater? I'm kind of cold. Sure thing, kid. What a mess. This is bad. <laughs> What's this supposed to be? Matching sweaters! He even made your sweater. Salmon colored. Hey! Sons! Yuck! 